Right. Four killed him. Our wagon train is twisting through Snake River Canyon. The snake holds many geological wonders, like Soda Springs, an otherworldly landscape of cones and craters with hot, warm, and cold water springs. Ah, and they come in different flavors. This one tastes like sarsaparilla. <laughs> that isn't sarsaparilla at all. Beelzebub's summer cabin cannot be more than a mile from this place. Where are you all going? Fall in! I said we would stop, but only to take on much needed water. Those of you without specific duties, get back into the wagons. Uncle, it's nation hot, and we've been walking for 800 miles. The springs look powerful and inviting. Can we please take a dip in them? Oh, yes, Father! Absolutely not. We're behind schedule. A quick drink of water, and then it's back on the trail. No bathing. Last one in the springs is a brisket shooter! Yee-haw! <laughs> Leeches? If there's one thing I cannot abide, it's leeches! Great. More water bugs. Leeches ain't no big thing. Here, I'll see if you got me. Get out of your britches, Randy. Right. Billy, take your pants off and I'll check you out. Um, I just remembered. I left something in the wagon. Ah! I mean... Ah! These leeches got me powerful jumpy. Say, Billy, you ain't really a girl pretending to be a boy, are you? What? Of course not. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. What a crazy idea. Because if you was, it's okay with me. Girls being scarce as they are around here, I could use the company. Okay, I am a girl. There, I said it. Whew, what a load off. See, when told me it out in the cupboard, I thought I'd stand a better chance as a boy. Well, you're safe with us. You can go ahead and lose the disguise. It's funny. I've kind of gotten used to it. I'd prefer it to stay like this and keep it secret, especially from Randy. Why Randy? I got feelings for him I can't explain. They makes me up something turbulent. Well, you know what a daring adventurer he is. Oh, yeah. He's a piece of work, ain't he? OK, it'll be our secret. Come on. So, what's your real name, Billy? Billy? Oh, that's a real pretty name. Dead Man's Pass is a charming spot. From the top, we could glimpse the snowy Cascade Mountains, the final remaining barrier to El Glitterado. The wagon master plans to avoid crossing over the Cascades by daring to raft between them on the wild Columbia River. For the next 60 miles, our route on the Columbia plunges over waterfalls, through deadly rapids, and down rock-strewn channels. So remember, there will be no bathroom breaks. All aboard! You didn't think you were going on our ferry, did you, Snits? It is Snits, isn't it? That's your ferry over there. Ask for Mr. Johnson. You can follow behind as long as you keep a hundred yards distance. Shove off! Ah, oh, you shove off! Hey, Randy! You coming with us? We'll catch up at Fort Vancouver. But, Randy! Oh, mule. Hey, you Mr. Johnson? <laughs> sure am. You sure am not. You're the one that nearly drowned us in the Missouri. You must have confused me with someone else. I assure you, uh, I'm Mr. Johnson. Why, <laughs> <laughs> Johnson? Uh-uh. I already took a swim with this character. I ain't doing it again. Doesn't sound like a good idea. I am too, Mr. Johnson. Says so right here on this certification certificate. Hmm. Huh. That story checks out. Well, still, I'd like to take another ferry. Uh, listen, I'll get us all down the Columbia as safe as milk. I'll handle her like a baby. <laughs> What'd you say? I'll take all of you for a buck. That's right. Come to Papa. <laughs> Again. It's a beauty of a day, yes, sir. Hey, remember me? Three-eyed Jack. He's alive. How many times did I tell you he's alive? Huh? How many? All right, you win. He's still alive. Dang right, I'm alive. And you're gonna be dead in approximately one minute. Yeah, I reckon he means to 
kill you folks, but don't worry a bit. I've seen fire worse than him. In fact, I remember the time when we put oh. Bumpy, are you okay? Well, boys. I guess I'm going to the place where there ain't no gullies or ditches. We're living people. A place where sarsaparilla flows out of the faucets. Bumpy, he only nicked your boot. Look, it went in one end and went out the other. Completely missed your foot. Then why does it hurt like it's about to come off? Now, how long has that been in there? I'm out. Luke, cover me while I reload. I'm out. Romeo? I'm out, too. Next time, let's take turns being out. Being made back. Boots and shackles! Switch and spurs! Ow! Bless it, pig's end! Sorry. I may as well get you anyway, Frenchie. Come here! Come here! Come here! Come here! French! What's that owl out yonder? Oh, brother. Another gigantic cataract. Why didn't I take below Salilo Falls? Now I'm really ahead. Break and blank and cut, blank and dump, dump and extract and cut. I mean, Larry, you saved me. Oh, you magnificent horse. But where's Jill? Jill! Yeah, now you really owe me. How? Where did everybody... The rest of us took that side stream yonder. But not you, Hotshot. Oh, no, that'd be too easy. You have to do everything the hard way. Having made excellent time on the Columbia, we find ourselves below Celilo Falls ahead of schedule, refreshed from a long swim and a mere day's ride to Fort Vancouver. Meanwhile, there's no sign of Three-Eyed Jack. He is gone, right? Right, he's dead. Oh, yeah. He's out of our hair forever. Fort Vancouver. We found the wagon train with the orphans Billy and Toad E, who seemed well satisfied to see us again. That was the last I saw of Three-Eyed Jack. Dang, Randy. You've had the most adventuresome time since Toad and me saw you last. I promise we ain't getting left behind again. We're sticking with you, honor bright. Yep, real nice to see you too. Don't let Miss Spatchley hit you on the backside as you get along now. Get gone. Go back to your wagon train. Bumpy, I was right in the middle. Are you crazy? Never mention Three-Eyed Jack to anyone. They'll put two and two together and get five. What? Never mind. All right, everybody. It's Thursday, and you know what that means. Ready? One. Two, three. All right, here's Fort Vancouver. Look, it's a straight shot up the left side of these mountains, then we're on to Sioux's Peace. Oh, and then look here. Seattle's right there. Let's say we lose the wagon train here and head north for Seattle all on our lonesome first thing in the morning. All right, yep, that suits that me. That sounds all like right, a plan. Leave I'm the loop. You hear that, Toad? Tomorrow they're headed north to Seattle, and the wagon master's heading south to Oregon City. Come on. Behind schedule, body wagon. Good wagon master, hearken to me, for I am the angel called Manifest Destiny. Manifest Destiny. Peace, wagon master. I come with the answer you seek. Do not go to Oregon City. It is already too crowded, and more than six people per square mile. Six? That's right. Six. Go north to Seattle. Seattle? Plenty of land. Deep water port, Seattle, the greatest city in Oregon. So, greatest Oregon. See, I told. I leave you now, brave, honest, trusting wagon master. Seattle, the greatest city in Oregon. <laughs> Thank you for the singing, ladies. We's much obliged. I'll send your regards to Romeo. We're kind of his manager, see? Quiet. You want to wake up the whole wagon train? Yeah, you! Don't you 
was going to Oregon City. No, to Seattle. Less crowded. Deepwater Port. You can come along as long as you keep a hundred... Yeah! Where are you going? Last one to Seattle is a two-headed cab. I have all the... Blazes! Sorry, dearie. It provokes me so. Toad, it's all going according to plan. Uh-huh. So this is Seattle. It's Nirvana. Nothing but mud, honey. Want to get some coffee? Seems like we got a whole hassle of choices here. The greatest city in Oregon. Huh? It's perfect. We'll settle here. Whoa, everybody, fall in! Ain't it grand, Randy? We're all gonna live happy ever after in Seattle. We'll build a mighty city. Starting there, by the water. But, Uncle, look. There's an Indian encampment there already. They can be moved, nephew. Them little urchins gone to bed, Randy? Yep, good. Down to business, then. We're so close to El Glitterado, I can smell it. El Glitterado must smell like armpits and old socks, then. Here's the plan. We leave before dawn tomorrow. By sundown, we should be at the big H. Bumpy, what about the kids? What about the kids? We should bring them with us. What? We can't leave them there with that wagon train. Now, you get this straight, Macduff. They are not coming with us. But nothing. Good night. I know how you feel, kid. I'm thinking about him, too. Yeah, I keep seeing Toad's little face. Oh, howdy. Told you we ain't getting left behind. Get back to your dang wagon train and stay there this time. We said we'd stick with you, Randy. Honor bright. Billy, the only safe place for you and your little brother is that wagon train. I don't want to be safe. I want to be with you. I need you to do this. To take care of Toad. I need you to be a man, Billy. <laughs> but I ain't a man. Someday you will be. Yeah. I'll come back and find you in Seattle. I promise. Meet you at the coffee shop. We're poised on the doorstep of El Glitterado, yet its actual location eludes us. It's a dark and windy night. I would attempt to sleep, but all the dry spots are taken. This whole long journey west, I have endeavored to cast my adventures in the best possible light. But tonight, I can only tell you the unvarnished truth. I feel that I am fortune's fool. These late eclipses of the sun and moon portend no good to us. Though the wisdom of nature can reason it thus and thus... Uh, uh, oh. uh, I'm sorry, Sue. I, I was enjoying it. Would you please read some more? Love cools, friendship falls off, brothers divide. In cities, mutinies. In countries, discourse. In palaces, treason. And the bond crack twixt son and father. Which, uh... Work of Shakespeare is that? King Lear, Act One, Scene Two. Well, it's a difficult play, but good. I'll have to read it sometime. You're not so bad, Randall P. McDuck.